Now I'm going to use that same formula in the last example, but with a little bit of a rewrite. Here we're told what the revenue is in the end and how much we're selling for. So how many of the item were sold? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate how many of the items were sold by dividing both sides by cost per item. Number of items sold would be revenue divided by cost per item. Now, the rewrite is right here, the number of items equals revenue divided by cost per item. The $1.20 or 1 1.2 as a fraction, that's 12 tenths, but we can reduce that to six fifths. So what I'm gonna wind up doing is dividing 144 by six fifths. And I just used method one, copy dot flip. I copied the 144, I changed division to multiplication, and I flipped over six fifths to five over six. Notice here, a little more important to take notice of this, that uh, the dollar signs, since we're dividing, these two dollar signs cancel out. I didn't type it anywhere else. Um, because we just get a number, a number of items that were made and sold. Okay, so what happens? Six goes into itself and 144 into itself once and into 144, 24 times, multiplying straight across the numerators, 24 times five is 120, along the denominators after the reducing, one times one is one, and no one's gonna say, I had sold 120 once of an item, they would leave off that denominator, i.e. dividing by one at the end. That's it for now. I hope that's helped and I will see you soon.